What's going on YouTube? This is Sehaman back with another Marvel Legends figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hulkettes. So this is the uh, Red She-Hulk. And if you guys watched my Hyperion video, you guys were, will already know um, I paid $15 a piece for these. Uh, the prices on these figures are from $25 to $30, but the seller uh, knocked off. Uh, actually, he was, he was um, offering or selling these figures for $30. But he wanted the, um, I told him I didn't want the hit monkey pieces because I didn't really care to build the damn figure. So he knocked off 15 bucks so I can just pay for the figure. And I just kept the figure in the packaging. That way you guys can take a look. I basically bought this because I was curious about the new body molds. And not only that, just so I can, you know, show you guys um, what the figure's all about. And, you know, just give you my opinion and if I recommend uh, the figure or not. Now, the artwork's pretty cool. That's going to be the running change there. The green, uh, the Hulk, She-Hulk. Uh, right there on the side, you know, we got the panels of the figures. This one included the body and the legs of um, Hit Monkey, but like I said, I'm passing on it. Um, so that's what the figure looks like in the packaging. We flip this around. We got the nice artwork there. Really, really cool. Uh, it says here, these mighty maidens are gamma-fueled powerhouses with enough strength to punch mountains, a mountain to pieces. Uh, so this is the Hit Monkey pieces in there you know one thing I didn't go over in Hyperion and it's actually in here but I'll do it in a second um, so if we flip this around there's the other figures uh, this the Iron Fist will be coming with the, with the headpiece of um, Hit Monkey. so let's go ahead and take a quick break and we'll get a closer look at She-Hulk stay tuned Red She-Hulk alright so here's a little 360 look at the Red She-Hulk, and the figure is not not too bad of a figure. I like the upper body part, the legs. I honestly really, from like the waist down, I really don't care too much for the figure. At least on this one, we got an accessory. She comes with this huge sword. Uh, here's a top to bottom look at the actual figure there. Uh, again, I'm still a little disappointed with, with this wave. Um, let's get a closer look, and I'll explain, you know, the things I don't really like about this figure. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so here's a close look at She-Hulk, but before we get into that, let's take a look. I didn't go over this with Hyperion, because there's only three figures that come with the pieces of um, Hitmonkey, which is uh, Hyperion, uh, the She-Hulk, and Iron, I mean, um, and uh, Protector. So this one here, Tales of Hitmonkey, this one has a, uh, um, ah, Bullseye, you can see right there. This, this shows you right here on how to, you know, build the figures um, tells you who comes with what pieces. This is the one that came with Hyperion. Uh, this one here is the one that came with Red She-Hulk. So we got Tales of Hit Monkey. This one is Spider-Man. So you know, don't forget those come in the uh, in the packaging. Getting a look at the accessories. Let's get this over with here. So this is her huge ass sword that she comes with. You can see that there. It's not sharp at all, but. It's okay. She holds it somewhat, um, you know, pretty good. It's it's a little loose in her hands, but she does, you know, she can hold it. You can see there. Not much, not much, um, not a lot of detail. It looks kind of plain, but it's still cool. I do like the coloring of the um, burgundy or red, whatever you want to call that, but it is a long weapon. Uh, get a close look at She-Hulk now. There's the head sculpt she's got a little bit of red in her hair her hair is draped in the back here so this is going to hinder her articulation it's kind of a soft soft material you can see all the black there it looks pretty nice the hair does look pretty nice but you can see that the the head sculpt there nothing really too um, exciting or, or crazy about the head sculpt kind of plain but not bad uh, you can see the gloves there with the straps, not bad. I do like the, the paint or the coloring, the color scheme on her outfit, the black and the purple, that kind of like a metallic color, which is pretty cool. And like I said, um, she got, well, she's, she is a little muscular, so that's cool. But like I said, uh, from like the waist below, the figure is just kind of crappy. I didn't, I don't really like how this figure came out. There's just something about the the, the from the waist uh, down. It just does not look great. But the figure herself, from like here up, isn't too bad of a figure. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. 
Head sculpt's okay. Like I said, nothing too crazy. It's kind of like this glossy uh, uh, red. She's pretty muscular though. Um, let's go over the articulation. The head can go down. Can't really go back because of her hair. She can rotate it. Not not much though. Also because of her hair. Um, the arms do go in and out. It's got rotation in the arms. Single jointed here at the the bend at the bicep. Um, so it's not double jointed. Whoa, mine's a little little awkward here. There we go. So you can bend that. She's also got lower um, arm rotation. Uh, rotation at the wrist and uh, the hand can go in and out she's got the upper torso rotation and it can go up and down not too much though no waist articulation so that's kind of weak um, the arms do go in and out I'm sorry the legs do go in and out forward and ah you gotta rotate the joint here in order for the legs to go forward and back uh, she's got rotation in the upper leg double jointed knees and the foot goes up and down. Looks like she has the um, ankle rockers. So the articulation on this is kind of stupid. Um, it, they should have given her, I think in my opinion, they should have given her um, some waist articulation and maybe double jointed elbows. But other than that, that's that's pretty much the figure. She's a little, she's pretty tall, standing next to a Hyperion. I don't have Hyperion standing straight. He's kind of lopsided here but probably a little she looks a little to be a little a little taller and getting her to hold the sword like I said it is a little little loose so you might have to mess around with it a little bit for her to hold it uh, but it is a pretty pretty big sword and uh, that's pretty much it guys that's my review on this figure uh, do I recommend it if you're a Hulk fan or a She-Hulk fan you might want to get this uh, other than that, again, this is a figure you might want to pass on unless you really want to build a hit monkey um, figure. But I don't know. It's just there's something from here down that I don't like. Either it looks too plain. I just don't know. But I, I do like it from here up. If the legs would have been a little better, this would have been a great figure. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. This is Seha Man. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Hit Monkey series, Hulkettes. We're looking at the Red She Hulk. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Got a lot more on the way.